So peptides make, make up proteins if, if, you, if you need to lose weight or have more insulin. So SS31, again, is in the mitochondria, working to increase the energy production through the AMPK cycle. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Kidney Coach YouTube channel. I'm naturopathic Dr. Fiona Chin, and I'm joined again today by the wonderful MD, Morgan Camp. Morgan is an integrative doctor. And he's been practicing for well over two decades. And Dr. Camp, welcome again. Thank you again for sharing your wisdom and your time with our viewers. It's always greatly appreciated. Can you just describe to people what peptides are and why you and I are so passionate about them? Um, yeah, peptides are uh, basically chains of amino acids and some are shorter and some are longer. And they will have different effects depending on the size and, and the type that they are. Um, yeah, so, you know, so, so basically they're the constituents of, of uh, proteins. So peptides make, make up proteins. Good. I think let's get straight into them. I've had my MOPC and SS31 injections this morning, so I'm taking both of them. So <laughs> these are two peptides that I am very okay with as well. So it's great. So do you think there's one more beneficial than the other? Not say your SS thirty one or not well, sure. I've been I've been using the SS thirty one more um, in my yeah with with personally and in my practice. Um, I think the big difference is that if if you if you need to lose weight or have more insulin resistance, then the Mott C would be the better choice mm -hmm. or a combination of the two. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and of course, I'm using it more in neurodegenerative diseases, which SS31 seems to be more specific yes. for that's they've been using that potentially in Parkinson's and traumatic brain injury as well, I think so. Um, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, it. so anything else you want to add about Sorry, I interrupted you. Anything you wanted to add about SS31 or not C? So SS31, again, is in the mitochondria it, where it works and only works in, in, you know, unhealthy mitochondria, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So the thought is it doesn't have a lot of side effects because it doesn't uh, have any effects on the, the healthy cells, only on the damaged ones. And MOTC is produced in the mitochondria, but goes out and works on other cells and other tissues, especially skeletal muscle. Mm -hmm. uh, SS31 works mostly by, by, neutralizing the negative effect of, re of these reactive oxygen species um, and therefore lowering the damage associated with that. And MOTC is more working to increase the energy production through the AMPK cycle and pathway and therefore improving insulin sensitivity. Um, and as you just said, SS31, because it goes through the blood brain barrier and for other reasons, has likely broader effects on on neuro neurodegenerative diseases as well. And you mentioned something interesting there, and I think that's um, important to say is both of them have in trials very little side effects, which is, I mean, I think that's the case for almost all peptides is, as you mentioned right at the beginning, they're a natural curling substance that our body produces anyway. And what we're doing is just increasing the body's um, hitting the cells with these peptides that are in the body anyway. So yeah, from what I've seen in all the research for most peptides is they have very few side effects. If anything, it's more just at site where you're injecting it, you can get sometimes a bit of a rash or um, a bit of pain at injection site, which we'd expect for some people. So. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That was the, yeah. And at the SS31 tr clinical trials, yeah, the, I think headache was another one, but other than headache, um, I think the the only real side effect was at injection sites. You know? Yeah, yeah, which is really exciting because when we're looking at things that can really change the way your insulin's functioning and things like that without these big side effects that maybe something like metformin or something has, it, it's um, yeah, it is. It's really exciting. And again, as you mentioned right at the beginning, peptides are a natural occurring substance in the body. So. Thank you. I really appreciate your time and wisdom as always. If you want to find out more about what we do, head to www.kidneycoach.com. Make sure you hit subscribe. That way you'll get notified anytime we do new videos. And Dr. Camp is always really generous with his time. So I know we've got a couple of great podcasts coming up in the next few weeks. And make sure you head over to our Facebook page, Facebook forward slash Kidney Coach. All right. Thank you so much for being part of our community. We look forward to seeing you next time. And again, Dr. Kat, thank you always for your time.